In this quick video, I'll show you how to find the critical points of a function using partial derivatives. The question reads, find the critical points of the function f at x is equal to the expression you see on your screen. To find the critical points using partial derivatives, you need to find the partial derivative with respect to x and the partial derivative with respect to y and set those equations equal to zero. Then solve for x or y. So with that being said, Let's start with the partial derivative of x. And you can represent this in two ways. You can represent it as f sub x or the partial derivative of f, the stylized d, with respect to x. Starting with this term, we'll use the power rule. We end up with 3 times 3, which is 9, x to the power of 2. This is considered a constant. That's 0. This becomes negative 9 and that's also considered a constant. So eventually we'll set this equal to zero and solve for x. Now the partial derivative with respect to y, this is zero because now that's a constant and using the power rule here we end up with two y. Constant plus four. As I mentioned, we'll set this equal to zero and this equal to zero. Solving for x here, I'll bring this negative 9 over to the other side, where I end up with 9x squared is equal to positive 9. Dividing both sides by 9 cancels out the 9s, so that becomes a 1, and so does that. And then we square root both sides, where we have x is equal to plus minus the square root of 1, which is 1. Solving for y here, we'll take this plus 4 over, where we have 2y is equal to minus 4. Divide both sides by 2, we get y is equal to negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2. So our critical points will be negative 1 and negative 2, and positive 1 and negative 2. Let's do the same thing for question 2. This time they want us to find the critical points of a new function, x cubed minus xy plus y to the power of 2. Now depending on the equation that they give you, Finding the critical points could be pretty hard, and this is an example of that. So we'll start by finding the partial derivative with respect to x. This gives us 3x squared. Over here, we'll hold y constant, and taking the derivative of negative x is negative 1. So we have negative y. That becomes 0. Eventually, we'll set this equal to 0. But before we do, the partial derivative with respect to y, that's 0 that becomes negative x and this becomes plus 2y. Let's set both of these now to 0. So now that both equations are set to 0 and don't confuse this with a 4 that is a y, we have to solve this system of equations simultaneously and the way we can do that is we can take this negative x over we have x is equal to 2y and we can substitute the content of x 2y into here that will give us an equation that's exclusively in terms of y. So we have, manipulating this, 0 is equal to 3 bracket 2y to the power of 2 minus y. Distributing this exponent to these two factors, we get 3 times 4 times y squared minus y. This is an incomplete quadratic, which you can easily solve by factoring. So we have y bracket 12y minus 1. Therefore we have a solution at y is equal to 0 and a solution where y is equal to 1 over 12. We can take these values, substitute them into here where we have an x value. If we substitute 0 into here we get x is equal to 0. So we have one critical point at 0 and 0 and substituting 1 over 12 into here we end up with 2 over 12 which is 1 over 6. So a solution at 1 over 6 and 1 over 12. These represent your critical points. And there you have it, two examples on how to find the critical points of a function using partial derivatives.